Roman day. Pepper and George are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. They are painting pictures of Polly Parrot. My goodness! What lovely paintings, Pepper and George. <laughs> Look at my pretty picture, Polly. <laughs> pretty picture, Polly. <laughs> Polly Parrot copies everything that is said. I'll put them up here for Granny Pig to see when she gets home. But where is Granny Pig? Oh, she's just out playing with her friends. <laughs> here is Granny Pig with her friends. Granny Pig! Hello, my little ones. Have you had a nice morning? Yes, thank you, Granny. Why are you wearing funny clothes? We have been doing historical reenactment. What's hysterical reenactment? It's when you dress up like it's the olden days. And sit around drinking tea. We do more than just drink tea. <laughs> Today, we were being Romans. What's Romans? Romans were people who lived a very long time ago. And I am the emperor. The emperor was the boss of all the Romans. Ooh. Goodbye. See you next week, Granny Pig. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Granny, can we be Romans too? Yes, Peppa. Here are some helmets. <laughs> <laughs> Now what do we do? We march around saying, Veni, Vidi, Vici. What does that mean, Granny? It probably means, anyone for another cup of tea? No. It means, I came, I saw, I conquered. Veni, Vidi, Vici. <laughs> Veni, Vidi, Vici. <laughs> Granny Pig loves being a Roman. Veni, Vidi, Vici. <laughs> Pepper and George love being Romans too. Pepper and George have been doing some lovely pictures this morning. My goodness, they're very good. They look just like Polly. Just like Polly. <laughs> <laughs> the Romans like making pictures too, you know. Did they? Yes. They used coloured pieces to make pictures, known as mosaics. Here's one I made this morning. Ooh. Can we make a mosaic? What a good idea. You'll need some coloured pebbles. Follow me. I've got a whole bag of pebbles in my shed. This is Grandpa Pig's shed. Here we are. Lots of coloured pebbles. <laughs> George, what shall we make a picture of? Dinosaur. Good idea, George. You find the green pebbles for the dinosaur. <laughs> find blue pebbles and make a lovely sky. Pepper and George are making a Roman mosaic of a dinosaur. George adds some green pebbles. <laughs> Pepper adds some blue pebbles. George, the red ones can be the eyes. <laughs> Finished! Well done, Pepper and George. My word, you've got rather muddy. <laughs> Time for a bath before Mummy and Daddy Pig come to pick you up. No! Oh dear, George does not want to have a bath. But George, the Romans were very good at having baths. And you're a Roman, aren't you? Yes, George. Let's have a Roman bath. <laughs> Pepper and George are having a Roman bath. <laughs> it's Mummy and Daddy. Here are Mummy and Daddy Pig. Ah, oh, Tempus Fugit. What does that mean? It means time flies. Tempus Fugit. Ah, oh, Tempus Fugit. <laughs> Tempus Fugit. <laughs> Hello. Mummy, Daddy, we've been playing Romans. <laughs> Tempus Fugit. Ooh. And with these crowns of leaves, you are both Roman emperors. Hooray! Benny Vidi Vici. <laughs> Pepper and George love being Romans. Everybody loves being Romans. Desert Island. Pepper and George are at Danny Dog's house. Captain Dog is telling stories of when he was a sailor. I sailed all around the world and then I came home again. Ooh. But now I'm back for good. I'll never get on a boat again. Daddy, do you miss the sea? Well, sometimes. 
It is Grandad Dog, Grandpa Pig and Grumpy Rabbit. Hello. Uh, can Captain Dog come out to play? What? We are going on a fishing trip. On a boat. On the sea. OK, let's go. But, Daddy, you said you'd never get on a boat again. Oh, yes. So I did. OK. Bye-bye. Bye. Well, there they go. Off on a boat. Without me. What are you going to do now, Daddy? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll clean the seaweed off the house. You don't get seaweeds on houses. No, of course not. We'll take my boat. Are you sure your boat's safe, Grampy Rabbit? Oh, of course it's safe. I built it myself. <laughs> oh, we don't need that bit. Off we go. I love going fishing. Me too. And what do you need for a fishing trip? Fishing rods? No! The picnic basket! <laughs> it's very good of you to steer the boat, Grampy Rabbit. Uh, but I'm not steering the boat. I thought somebody else was. Oh, dear. No one is steering the boat. We're lost at sea. And look, Grampy Rabbit's boat is sinking. Don't panic! I've been in worse situations than this. Really? No, this is the worst. <laughs> we're saved! But we're stuck on a desert island. With just the sea and the sky for company. And we haven't got any food. Ooh, I've got a chocolate bar. Good. We should save the chocolate in case we get hungry later. Oh, dear. Grampy Rabbit has eaten all the food. What a terrible place to be stuck. Is anyone else missing cheese? We've only been here five minutes, Grampy Rabbit. I'm going to put a mark in the sand for every time I think about cheese. We need to call for help. Call for help? What an excellent idea. Grampy Rabbit is very good at shouting. What was that? That was the call of the sea. Someone is in trouble. What can we do? We'll rescue them. We can use Grandad Dog's boat. Wait a minute. I said I'd never get on a boat again. But, Daddy, they need rescuing. You're right. Just this once. I shall sail again. Life jackets on. Aye, oh, Captain Dog. Full sail. All our food is gone. There's nothing left to eat. There must be something to eat. Ahoy there! Hooray! We're, We're saved! Captain Dog has rescued the Grandads. Land ahoy! Everyone off the boat. Farewell, everybody. See you in a few weeks. Daddy, where are you going? Me? I was just... Thinking of sailing around the world again. But, Daddy, you're not a sailor anymore. No, of course not. Leave the sailing to us, Captain Dog. Yes, and when they get lost again, you can rescue them. <laughs> <laughs> fruit. It is fruit day at the supermarket. Look, it's Mr Potato. Mrs Carrot. Sweet Cranberry and Little Sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> apple, apple, orange, banana, banana pear and pineapple too. Eat five pieces of fruit a day because they're good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Fruit Day, where the magic of fruit never ends. Wow, so much fruit. Hello, Peppa. Hello. We are choosing our favourite fruit. What's your favourite? Um, I like apples. I like oranges. I like bananas. I like carrots. Carrots are not a fruit. Oh, carrots are a vegetable. 
Edmund is a bit of a clever clogs. What's your favourite fruit, George? Is it bananas or oranges? George likes strawberries the best. Strawberry! George loves strawberries. Smoothies! Get your fruit smoothies here! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Miss Rabbit! What's a fruit smoothie? It's a drink made from fruit. Would you like one? Yes, please. Can I have a smoothie with apples? OK, but smoothies can have lots of different fruit in them. OK, apples, raspberries, bananas and more apples. An apple, raspberry, banana and more apples smoothie. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Can I have a smoothie, please? Me too. And me. And me. Of course. What fruit would you like in your smoothies? Uh, I don't know. It can be anything, Pedro. OK. Cheese, please. <laughs> Pedro, cheese isn't a fruit. It has to be fruit or vegetables. OK. Raspberries and blueberries and blackberries and gooseberries. That's more like it. Raspberry and blueberry and blackberry and gooseberry smoothies for everyone. <laughs> Mm, lovely. What do you want in your smoothie, George? Strawberry. George, a smoothie must have lots of fruit in it. How about strawberries and pineapple, George? No. Maybe George would like some dinosaur juice. Dinosaur juice? Oh, yes. All dinosaurs like dinosaur juice. <laughs> dinosaur. Let's see. A bit of this, one of those, a few of these, or oh, some of that. One dinosaur juice, just for dinosaurs and their little friends. <laughs> dinosaur. Can I have some dinosaur juice, please, Miss Rabbit? Me too. And me. And me. OK. Dinosaur juice for everyone. Oh, bother. What's wrong, Miss Rabbit? I've forgotten what I put in the dinosaur juice. Oh, I can tell you what was in it. Really? How? By smelling it. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. <laughs> hmm, there's one banana. One banana. Three. No, four strawberries. Five cherries. Strawberries, cherries. One peach, half a pineapple, a slice of melon and something else. What is it? A carrot? Yes, a carrot. Hooray! Dinosaur juice for everyone. Mm. <laughs> Are you all enjoying fruit day? Yes, we love fruit and carrots. <laughs> Everyone loves fruit <laughs> and carrots. <laughs> International Day. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. They are dressed up in costumes from different countries. Today is International Day, when we celebrate all the countries of the world. Hooray! Pepper is dressed as France. I'm France. George is Russia. <laughs> Pedro is America. Yeehaw! Zoe is Japan. Konnichiwa! Susie is Holland. Hello! That's Dutch for hello! <laughs> <laughs> Madam Gazelle, what do all the countries of the world do? They sing the song of harmony together. Hooray! I like singing. So do I. Does everyone remember the words? Yes, Madame Gazelle! Peace and harmony in all the world Peace and harmony in all the world Peace and harmony in all the world Peace and harmony <laughs> Lovely! And later we will sing that for your mummies and daddies. It is playtime. Enjoy yourselves! P 
play nicely together. All the countries are playing in the playground. The United Kingdom is on the slide. Whee! France and Switzerland are on the swings. <laughs> Germany is playing hopscotch. One, two, three. America, Russia, Spain and Greece are in the sandpit. <laughs> I'm building a big sandcastle. Yeehaw! Here are Holland and Japan. Ahem. Now it's our turn in the sand pit. Why? Because you've had your turn. You can play on the slide now. But we want to play here. <coughs> oh dear. There is not enough room in the sand pit for more than four countries. <laughs> What's going on? It's our turn in the sand pit. But we were here first. Is Susie being a bit bossy? George started it. Leave George alone. He's only little. <coughs> hello, hello, hello. What's all this noise about then? Nay. They're trying to push us out of the sandpit. No, we're not. Yes, you are. George started it. That's That's right. Right. Oh dear. The countries of the world are not playing nicely together. Peace and harmony in all the what? What's that noise? Oh no! The countries are fighting. We can't play in the sand pit. Yes, we can. It's not fair. Stop arguing, Susie. You're always telling people what to do. No, I am not. Children, children. What is happening? <laughs> America, Russia, Spain and Greece won't share the sand pit. <laughs> Holland is being bossy. You're the bossy one. That is enough. Is this how you think the countries of the world behave? Um, don't they? Of course not. Sorry, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> All the parents have arrived. How is International Day going? Uh, not too bad. Excellent. <laughs> Lovely. We will now sing for you the Song of Harmony. Peace and harmony in all the world. Peace and harmony in all the world. Peace and harmony in all the world. Peace and harmony. Hooray! What a Wonderful display of togetherness. Pepper and her friends love singing together in harmony. All the countries of the world love singing together in harmony. Grumpy Rabbit's Lighthouse. Pepper, George, and Danny are having a day out on Grandad Dog's boat. Can we go to Pirate's Island today? Yes, Danny. But first, we've got to deliver supplies to my friend, Grampy Rabbit. Where does Grampy Rabbit live? On a rock. On a rock? Yes, in that lighthouse. Ooh. Ahoy there, matey. <laughs> I brought your supplies. Oh, thank you, Grandad Dog. I've got my crew with me today. Danny, Pepper, and George. Visitors? I haven't had visitors in many a moon. I get a bit lonely, but just the sea and sky for company. How long have you been here? Since Tuesday. Oh. I've got tales to tell, if you'd like to hear. No, thanks. Yes, please. Well, there's the sea and the sky and uh, I'm learning the banjo. Would you like to hear a song? No, thanks. Yes, please. I got up this morning. The sea was still there. So was the sky. The sea, the, the sky, sky, the sea, the sky. Here's your cheese. Oh, I've missed cheese. And a new book. How to run a lighthouse. Oh, that'll come in handy. Why is your house called a lighthouse? I'll show you, Pepper. The staircase goes round and round to the very top of the lighthouse. Round and round and round. <laughs> it's called a lighthouse because it has this big light at the top. Wow! It shines through the dark, helping sailors to find their way. Ooh. 
And when it's foggy, I use this foghorn. Fog! That's loud. No fog today, just sea and sky. The stories I could tell... No, thank you. We've got to go. We're sailing to Pirate Island. Goodbye, Grumpy Rabbit. Enjoy the sea and the sky. We will. Grandad Dog's boat has arrived at Pirate Island. Look, our sandcastle is still here. Let's play hide and seek. OK. One, two, There are not three, many places to hide four, on Pirate Island. Five. Ready or not, here I come. What's found you? Oh. Now, where's George? <laughs> Grandad Dog cannot find George anywhere. I give up. Where is he? George was hiding behind Grandad Dog. Clever George. <laughs> Let's set off home before it gets dark. Oh, it is getting dark. Don't worry. The light from Grampy Rabbit's lighthouse will show us the way home. Grampy Rabbit is ready for bed. Ah, <sighs> my new book, How to Run a Lighthouse. Chapter One. <sighs> I'll read the rest tomorrow. Better turn the light out. Oh, where did the light go? Do you know what time it is? I've just turned the lights out. Yes, we know. Could you turn the big light on again? Oh, sorry! Hooray! It is getting foggy. I can't see the light anymore. It's us again. Could you sound the foghorn? Of course. Fog! I can hear something. Oh! Grampy Rabbit is guiding them home. His voice is a foghorn. This way home! The parents are here to pick up the children. Have you had a lovely time? We went to Pirate Island and to a lighthouse. Grampy Rabbit's lighthouse guided us home safely. That's nice. Grampy Rabbit sang a song. Would you like to hear it? No, thanks. Yes, yes please. please. I, I got, got up this morning. morning. Chatterbox. It is a lovely sunny day and Susie Sheep has come to play with Pepper. Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Peppa and Susie are best friends. <laughs> Guess what happened to me yesterday? <laughs> yesterday, I went to the duck pond and I saw Mrs Duck. Well, yesterday... Then I went to the supermarket with Mummy. We bought bread, carrots and... <laughs> What's wrong? You talk too much. You go, blah, 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 blah. Just like that. Blah, blah, blah. Mummy, Susie said I talk too much. Well, you are a bit of a chatterbox, Pepper. Chatterbox, that's right. Chatterbox here, chatterbox there. Chatter, chatter, chatter. You never stop talking. I can easily stop talking if I want to. No, you can't. Yes, I can. You can't. I can. You can't. That's it. I'm never going to talk again. Hello, Susie. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Hello, Zoe. You look nice today. Thank you, Susie. This is my new dress. Why are you not talking, Peppa? Yes, why are you not talking, Peppa? <gasps> this is a silly game. What game are you playing? Susie said I was a chatterbox and I could never be quiet. You're not being very quiet now, are you? <laughs> Right, I'm not going to talk ever again. Starting now. Hello, everyone. Hello, Danny. Hello, Danny. What's the matter with Peppa? She's not talking. Oh, who wants a grape? Me, please. Me, please. Mmm, mmm. You can't nod your head. That's cheating. And you can't blink. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Pedro. Pedro. What's the matter with Peppa? She's never going to talk ever again. Why? 
Because she talks too much. I do not talk too much. Anyway, you're always walking like this. Oh, look at me. I'm Susie Sheep. See what I mean? And you say this. Mickey Mackey Boo Ba Boo. That's nothing like me. It is a bit like you, Susie. You're just as noisy as me. <laughs> I can be quiet. It's not easy. It's not that hard, Peppa. OK, you do it then. Let's all do it. We can show my mummy. <laughs> 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 yeah. Mummy, we're all going to be quiet. Very quiet. So quiet, you can drop something on the floor and hear it. Quiet as a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> You're not being quiet at all. You're all being very noisy. We can be quiet whenever we want. Start being quiet on the count of three. One, two... I'm not ready. OK, now. <laughs> on your marks, ready? get set. Three. Hello. <laughs> I'm home. Oh. I thought the house was empty. Peppa and her friends are playing at being quiet. <laughs> it's not playing. It's very hard work. Oh, Peppa! Peppa cannot stop herself from talking. Oh, Daddy, I think I might be a chatterbox. That's not such a bad thing, Peppa. It's good to talk. In fact, I think you're an expert at talking. That's right. <laughs> I am an expert at talking. <laughs> I'm an expert at talking too. No, you're not. I'm the chatterbox. I'm more of a chatterbox than you. Oh, oh, you two are just the same. Yes, we are. That's why we are best friends. Chatter, chatter, Peppa chatter, loves chatter, talking. Chatter, chatter, Susie chatter, loves chatter, talking. Chatter, 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 chatter. Everybody chatter, loves chatter, talking. Chatter. 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 <laughs> The Coral. Peppa and Susie Sheep are playing Snap. Snap! I win! <laughs> Peppa and Susie are best friends. <laughs> Snap! I win again! <laughs> you cheated! I did not! You looked at the card! I did not! <laughs> I don't want to play with you anymore. <coughs> I don't want to play with you anymore. Oh dear, Peppa and Susie have had a quarrel. <coughs> Mummy Sheep is here to take Susie home. Peppa, say bye-bye to Susie. <coughs> I am not talking to her and I'm not talking to her. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure they'll make it up. They are best friends, really. It is not Funny. We are not best friends anymore. Daddy Pig is making supper. Peppa! George! Supper time! It's spaghetti! <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, Peppa? Peppa and Susie have had a little quarrel. Oh. But I do miss Susie a bit. Hmm. Let's give Susie a call. <laughs> Hello, Mrs Pig. <coughs> May Peppa talk with Susie, please? Hello, Susie. Hello, Peppa. We can be friends again, if you say sorry. I'm sorry I said you cheated, even though you did cheat. Well... I'm sorry you were ever my best friend. Oh. It doesn't matter. I can easily find a new best friend. It is a lovely sunny day. All the children are at the playground. Danny Dog is on the roundabout with his best friend, Pedro Pony. George is on the seesaw with his best friend, Richard Rabbit. Seesaw, seesaw. <laughs> Susie's sheep is on the swings, on her own. <sighs> Peppa is playing mini golf, on her own. <sighs> Here is Emily Elephant. Can I have a go? Yes! <laughs> Emily, Susie's sheep is not my best friend anymore. <coughs> so you can be my best friend.
my best friend. But my best friend is Candy Cat. Oh. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Wee! Zoe, if you want, you can be my best friend. But my best friend is Rebecca Rabbit. Oh. Wee! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Susie. Hello, Peppa. Ah, good. I see you two are friends again. We are not friends. We will never be friends again. Hmm. I think it's about time you two made it up. Peppa, say sorry to Susie. Only if she says sorry first. Only if she says sorry first. I know. I'll count to three and you can both say sorry at the same time. All right. One, two... Three. Sorry. Now you can be best friends again. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Susie, let's play mini golf. Good idea. Peppa and Susie are best friends again. Me first. My go. My ball went in the hole. So I win. But my ball knocked it in. So I win. You're just making the rules up. You are making the rules up. I win. No, I win. <laughs> you two are just the same. <laughs> That's why Susie's my best friend in the whole world. <laughs> and Peppa is my best friend in the whole world ever. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig's birthday. Today is Daddy Pig's birthday. Daddy Pig has to go to work. Daddy, I wish you didn't have to work on your birthday. <laughs> so do I. But I'll be home as soon as I can. See you later. See you later. <laughs> While Daddy Pig is at work, we can get all his birthday surprises ready. <laughs> First, we'll make Daddy's birthday cake. We start with butter and sugar and flour. Then we add an egg. And most important of all, the chocolate bits. Ooh. Mummy Pig is making a chocolate cake. Daddy Pig loves chocolate cake. I give it a stir. Mummy, can I stir? Yes, Peppa. Peppa loves stirring. George wants a go. <laughs> OK, George, that's enough stirring. There, Daddy Pig's chocolate cake. Hooray! <laughs> now, we just have to bake it in the oven. Mummy, can I lick the spoon? Yes, you can lick the spoon and George can lick the bowl. Yippee! Pepper and George love chocolate cake mixture. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Daddy Pig. He's missing all the fun. Mummy, can I ring Daddy at work and say happy birthday? That's a nice idea. This is the office where Daddy Pig works. Hello, Mr Rabbit speaking. May I speak to Daddy Pig, please? Someone for you, Daddy Pig. It sounds important. Hello, Daddy Pig speaking. <laughs> Thank you, Pepper. Don't be late home, Daddy. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. <laughs> Thank you. There's just one more thing to do before Daddy gets home. Yes, Daddy's birthday surprise. <laughs> Shh. George, remember, it's a secret. Shh. <laughs> Peppa and George have buckets of water. Mummy Pig has balloons. <laughs> I wonder what Daddy Pig's birthday surprise can be. <laughs> Daddy's home! Quick, back to the house. Daddy Pig is home from work. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Daddy Pig! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Wow, what a lot of candles. That's because you are very, very old, Daddy. <laughs> you must blow out all your candles in one go. <laughs> I'll do my best. <gasps> Hooray! 
<laughs> and here's your birthday present. Thank you. New boots. Fantastic. Let's try them out. Peppa, George and Mummy Pig are wearing their boots. <laughs> Daddy Pig is wearing his birthday boots. Daddy Pig has found a little puddle. Let's see if these boots work. The puddle is a bit too little for Daddy Pig. Hmm. What I need is a big puddle. <laughs> Why not try over here, Daddy Pig? Oh, what's this? It's your special birthday surprise. <laughs> shh, shh. <laughs> what are they up to? A big muddy puddle. Fantastic! <laughs> My birthday boots work perfectly. Would you care to join me in my birthday muddy puddle? <laughs> Daddy Pig loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. This is my best birthday ever. <laughs> <laughs>